Well, in the, the selection in the exhibition, uh, there's actually a, a small groupings from three interrelated projects, and uh, the ones that, um, that, you know, contain a lot of detritus and, and you know, trash in a nutshell, uh, are, the, are the pictures in color, which, all, which in turn represent two projects. And, uh, and one of them are, as, as a, is a group of pictures called Crossing, and that, that's a fairly small, discrete body of work, maybe maximum of 20, 20-ish number of pictures. Uh, there are pictures of trash and, and these sort of little niches in the desert landscape, uh, little gullies where there's foliage and stuff. And uh, that stuff is there for a very particular reason. They're kind of hiding spots of uh, illegal aliens crossing from Mexico into the United States. And that part of the, um, that part of the international border is uh, marked by a, a irrigation canal, so hence uh, you see a lot of inner tubes, for example, because people are floating across the canal to enter the United States, and they're also, of course, it's the desert, they're carrying water. Um, they're also wearing wet clothes, so you see clothing, inner tubes, empty water bottles, and occasionally something very, very striking, like the two pictures uh, in the galleries. Uh, one shows a baby carriage, the kind you would wear, like a backpack style, uh, and the other is a detail of the ground, which includes a Guatemalan passport. And so those are very telling details about, and that's what I like about a lot of this work, or it's, it's my interest is to kind of suggest these sort of epic narratives by looking at these little almost invisible details, because those, those little bits of trash uh, uh, speak of these kind of very big social uh, movements and phenomena that are sort of shaping the continent today. The other group of color pictures are actually related to a very large body of work that has to do with these uh, abandoned houses and uh, basically in all the desert communities that um, surround Los Angeles in an arc, uh, east of Los Angeles, and northeast and southeast. I'm interested in the desert for several reasons. One is, you know, the uh, you know, it, it sort of suggests the whole frontier mythos of the, you know, the so-called taming of the continent, the, you know, westward expansionism, all this, all these kind of, again, really big things in history. Um, uh, to some lesser degree, it's the same reason I'm interested in the British Columbia landscape, of course, but that's not a desert landscape for the most part. Uh, the desert has a very particular quality of light. Uh, edges are very sharp because there's very little moisture in the air, and uh, that's very interesting to me just in terms of picture making. Um, and the black and white pictures in this show from a series called Dusk are particularly, are, uh, that, that phenomenon is particularly important to those pictures. Uh, there's a kind of, because of the lack of moisture and the lack of ambient light, when the sun goes down, there's this period of time where things just sort of stand up and glow in this kind of, very interesting way for me. Uh, another reason about that I'm interested in the desert as a kind of you know arena in which to do my work is that um, as I have said to Anne Thomas, nobody seems to ever clean up. So, and I'm talking nobody going back like 10,000 years. Uh, so all the traces of how that land's been used and considered back to the first hunter-gatherer societies uh, who came into the that part of the world and you know, 10, 12,000 years ago. Um, that's still evidence to be read. And, and that's what I'm really interested in. Uh, my photographs are really about the surface and, and the kind of narrative fragments that are embedded in the earth and, and kind of looking at them really, looking at those things really closely and trying to, you know, come to some sort of understanding about um, how people deal with that, those environments and by extension how people deal with place, the idea of place in general. But when I go out and photograph, I, you know, unless I'm going somewhere very particular looking for something, I, I tend to carry both black and white and color film because, I mean, I don't know how spontaneous the pictures look to others, but I don't really know what I'm going to photograph or how I'm going to photograph until I see it. Now, there's, certainly there's a range of what I'm doing. I'm interested in certain things, and there's a, projects develop out on an accumulation of images of a certain type. Uh, but just one example, the crossing pictures, I didn't even know that stuff was there. I encountered that evidence, if you will, when I was hiking to a pre-Columbian archaeological site that I wanted to photograph in black and white that happened to be very close to the Mexican border, and I started seeing this 
trash, and it's not uncommon to see trash. And I, at first, I didn't think anything of it, and then I started thinking, well, what is this trash? And then so this whole other project really developed spontaneously out of just being there. So and I have and I made the, it was very clear that when I decided. I would photograph this stuff, although I wasn't sure why at the moment, uh, that it had to be in color. And because of my, the nature of how I go out, or, uh, I had color film with me.